the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we begin this Holy Mass, let us be sorry for our sins. Let us beg God's forgiveness, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the resurrection and life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, 
and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Constantly shape our minds, we pray, O Lord, by the practice of good works, that trying always for what is better, we may strive to hold ever fast to the, to the Paschal mystery through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After staying in Antioch some time, Paul left and traveled in orderly sequence through the Galatian country and Phrygia, bringing strength to all the disciples. A Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, an eloquent speaker, arrived in Ephesus. He was an authority on the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord and, with ardent spirit, spoke and thought accurately about Jesus, although he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wanted to cross to Achaia, the brothers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples there to welcome him. After his arrival, he gave great assistance to those who had come to believe through grace. He vigorously refuted the Jews in public, establishing from the scriptures that Christ is Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is King of all the earth. God is King of all the earth. All you peoples, clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God is King of all the earth. For King of all the earth is God. Sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. God is king of all the earth. The princes of the peoples are gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. For gods are the guardians of the earth. He is supreme. God is king of all the earth. Please all stand. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. 
Until now, you have not asked anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have told you this in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but I will tell you clearly about the Father. On that day, you will ask in my name, and I do not tell you that I will ask the Father for you, for the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have come to believe that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the conclusion of our Gospel today prepares us for the Feast of the, Anans of the Ascension, which we will celebrate tomorrow. Jesus said in our Gospel, I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. Jesus came from God and after fulfilling his mission on earth, Jesus returns to God. In fact, the whole life, the whole earthly life of Jesus is a life directed to God because he perfectly knew that his journey on earth is a journey that should lead him back to the Father. He is homebound. He is heaven bound my dear brothers and sisters isn't this also true in our own lives we all came from god and hopefully hopefully we will also return to god that should be the movement and direction of our lives ang buong buhay natin sa mundong ito ay isang paglalakbay na hindi papunta kung saan-saan. Nawa ang buong buhay natin sa mundong ito ay isang buhay na isang landas lamang ang tinatahak, papuntang langit, pabalik sa Diyos na ating pinagmulan. In our first reading today, we heard about certain people who were on a journey. Paul, the couple Priscilla and Aquila and Apollos, they were on a missionary journey in order to proclaim the truth about Jesus. At sa kanilang pagpapahayag tungkol kay Jesus, hindi lamang sila ang naglalakbay patungo sa Diyos, kundi inaanyayahan nila ang marami pang taong maniwala kay Jesus na siyang daan pabalik sa Ama. Jesus came from God and as He, as he, as he ascends to heaven, He returns to where He truly belongs, to His Father in heaven. We all came from God. But the question is, where are you going? What is the direction of your life? Where is your life heading to? Are you heaven bound?
Please stand. Jesus invites us to make every petition to the Father through Him and guarantees us joy in answer to our prayers. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the Church, through their preaching and guidance, may lead us to the glory of our heavenly home, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who hold public office may be given the grace to serve with honesty and integrity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who find life stressful and burdensome may receive strength from the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may find comfort and encouragement from their loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our beloved dead may be brought to the joy and glory of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. Father, you hear us, you always hear us, and grant all we ask for through the merits of your Son. May your Spirit abide in us to teach us what we should ask God for and to pour forth your gifts in our midst. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray. And accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, I am worthy, not worthy, worthy that you that should, you enter, should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel and let us all together pray the second day of the Novena to the Holy Spirit. Today we ask the Holy Spirit for the gift of piety. The intention of our Novena today is for young men who were ordained to the priesthood for service in the Archdiocese of Manila. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and, and you, you shall, shall renew, renew the, the face of, of the, the earth. earth. Piety is the honor and reverence given to someone who is in any way responsible for our existence and our well-being. The gift of piety moves our hearts, first of all, to filial honor and reverence for God, because He is our Creator and Redeemer. The devotional life of the Church is an expression of our honor and reverence for God and for all that belongs to heaven. Piety is also Piety also extends to our earthly parents and to all others whom God has placed over us in some way for our spiritual and material good. May the Holy Spirit renew the gift of piety within our hearts, our homes, our parishes and communities, so that by our example of honor and reverence, we may, be model, we, we may be a model to others of a life lived in and for God. Let us all together pray. Gracious Lord, Gracious Lord you have you fashioned, have fashioned everything, everything out of nothing, nothing giving, giving life and breath to all that, that exists. exists. You, you order everything, everything according to your, your loving providence. providence and establish the relationships by which our lives are nurtured and ordered. Confirm in us the gift of piety, so that by our honor and reverence for you and for those you have given to us, we may bear witness to the working of the Holy Spirit and become instruments of a new Pentecost in our time. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Mary, model of piety, pray for us. Please stand. Before I give the final blessing, I wish to thank all of you for joining our Mass this morning here at the Manila Cathedral. In a special way, I wish to thank the officers and members of the Philippine Nurses Association for being here today and for taking part in our celebration as they celebrate the 100th anniversary of the association. Maraming salamat po sa pagpunta ngayong umaga dito sa Manila Cathedral at uh, pasalamat din sa inyo sa inyong paglilingkod, lalong-lalo na ngayong panahon ng pandemic. Palakpakan po natin sila. We also greet the Lasal Sisters of Guadalupe as they begin their general chapter today. We assure you of our prayers and we invoke the inspiration of the Holy Spirit upon you, especially in this important gathering of your congregation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Regina Cheni, Leitare, Alleluia, Quia Quemeristi Portale, Alleluia, Alleluia, ora pro nobis Deus, Alleluia.
Thank you.